he could show us why and explain to us why to do it. So that right there, just it, you got to be on point. You can't go in the gym and half-ass your workouts or none of that because he know when you he know when you bullshitting. Right, and and I kind of wanted to touch back on uh, in your amateur career, you had a big win on that run uh, from a fighter from Texas, uh, Virgil Ortiz. You came in there very explosive. Um, what do you remember about that fight? And uh, because Virgil Ortiz, you know, uh, he's he's campaigning at welterweight right now, and uh, a lot of people don't really they're not familiar with your story, so they don't know like what notable wins you may have. Can you speak on that? I mean, I, honestly, I didn't know who Virgil was. I just knew he was from Texas, and I knew like Texas. They when you go to them them internet with them little tournaments, the national tournaments, uh, you just gotta go and you just gotta you just gotta dominate. Cause a lot of times, you know, I feel like it go by like what states is more popular, and you know who who done been there the most. So I remember, man, going to the the table the nat the championship night when I was gloving up. They're like, Indiana, what you still doing here? I'm going to show y'all. But I didn't know who Virgil was, though. So, man, my whole goal was just going out there and winning, you know. So I just went out there and just fought. I just – I was out there fighting to win. Right. And uh, when you turned pro, what was the process like? Did you have a lot of offers? Did you have a lot of uh, people trying to get to you? Or, what? It would, you know, because I think you said you took a longer path than most people. Uh, yeah, I, I did. I did, man. I had uh, quite a few people that had reached out to me. but. When I had first turned pro, I didn't really want to just sign because I didn't really know what was out there. You know, I didn't want to just sign anything that was coming. And then I kind of wanted to understand the business side of it a little better, you know, uh, before I would sign anything. But uh, I, I, I had quite a few bigger names that was uh, like managers and stuff like that that was reaching out to me, trying to get me to sign and stuff. And, and how does it feel to be uh... – Obviously, Errol Spence is uh, arguably one of the best fighters, if not the best fighter in the world. How does it feel to be uh, signed to the Big Fish, a.k.a. Uh, Man Down Promotions? It's solid. You know, I'm I'm honestly, I wanted to be on the PBC side. So, uh, and then with uh, Errol and Derek and them. So, everything really played out exactly how I wanted it to play out. Uh, so, it's, it's solid, you know, being with, with all of them is solid. I want to talk about your style, man, because a lot of people um, may not be familiar with you. And I know you're going to show and prove because we I've seen you fight plenty of times. But um, I think like when I see you, I see power. I see a lot of athleticism, great footwork. And you have this ability to pull in your opponent and counter them. And sometimes you counter them with a straight left hand or a left uppercut and a great combination punching. Is that something you've always had and how much of that um, has have you refined with, um, say, for example, uh, Coach James? And just talk about your style a little bit more, like what you bring in the ring, because I feel like you do a little bit of everything. I've seen you fight different ways in different fights. Uh, what, what, what would you say about that? That's my thing, man. Like, see, I I fight according to the opponent. You know, like we we always work a game plan, but like I I don't have just one style, you know, I, uh, I could, I could box, I could counter punch. I could sit there with you, you know, I can inside game. It's honestly just like when I'm in a ring, I kind of just, I just feel like what style I need to fight while I'm in there. You know, like I get, I get like this little, when I'm, I just feel like when I'm in that ring, I know what style going to work the best, you know, against those guys that I'm, uh, that I'm fighting, but I switched my styles up, man. I I switched the styles up and training with Derek, he just made it, he just like sharpened it. You know, he made it sharper. You know, he he made it sharper. I'm I'm understanding when I'm in there in that ring, I'm doing everything I'm doing, I know that I'm finna do it. I know when to do it. And that got a lot to do with, you know, how me and Derek work and you know how we train and stuff. Yeah, it's like uh, building anything, right? You're going to bring the right and proper tools. Everything, you don't use the same tools for everything. Shout out to Champ's side, man. That's the only side. <laughs> <laughs>